Hi, my name is Alex Christensen with Mosin to Training, and today we're going to talk about page list actions. And so, what we're going to cover are the, the different methods to uh, page list to the website. And so, those different methods are using next page buttons, the actual page numbers themselves, and sometimes websites use load more buttons at the bottom. And then, we're also going to cover how to remove duplicates after paging. So let's jump into a quick demo. Here is a, a normal website where we're searching couches. And so we have this product list already built out that's scraping the product title. And at the bottom you can see we have two different options to paginate. We can either use the next button or we can use the number links here at the bottom. So the first method I'm gonna show you is how to use the next button. So if we click on the next button, then we will see all the different actions that we can choose for this link. So we choose this page list button. And this window, all it's saying is this, is that this is what Mozinda has found, and this is basically asking what Mozinda should anchor this link on. And so it says we found this next with these two little arrows going to the right, and so we'll say create page list. And so you can see on the left hand side, this page list action was created. And so as soon as it finishes, all of, scraping all the items here, it will hit the end list and it will page list and hit the next button. We can right click and execute just to see how it works. And we are now on page two. If you scroll down the bottom, we're on page two. And so that's the first and probably most common way to page list. The next method is using the page list numbers. Now I'm gonna show you an example of using the numbers instead of the next button. And so it starts out the same. We're going to click on the next number, so number two, and we're going to click page list. And when we click page list, we're going to get this window that says, is there a next button? Is there an arrow key button? And if there is, click that instead. And so even though there is a next button, we're still going to click no because we want it, we want Mozinda, we want to force Mozinda to use the numbers instead of the next button. So we'll click no. And it says this page list action will click a sequence of page numbers one at a time. So we say create page list. And so what this agent, what this action will do now is it will scrape everything on page one and then it will click the number two link, scrape everything on page two and click the number three link and so on and so forth. And it will end when it gets to page 108, you see right here, it will look for 109 and not be able to find it, and it will stop. And so that is the number method. And so the final method is using a load more button on a website. So if we scroll down to the very bottom, we'll see a see more results or a load more results button. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna click on this button, just at the very end of our list, click on page list, it's gonna ask you for that anchor again. Instead of next arrow arrow, it's see more results, which is perfect. Okay, create page list. And when it finishes all of the items on the original page, it'll hit that button and load additional items. Um, the one setting that we should always have, the, have checked when we use a load more button is to remove duplicates after paging. And that's located in the properties of page list. So we'll right click, go to properties, and under list processing, you'll see this setting, remove duplicate list items after paging. That's all we have for this video. We'll see you next time.